All right, um, let's just go straight into what we want to do today. So we want to teach you, the Nexus testnet is, is live, the CLI is not live. So uh, last time I made a video on how to make your VPS ready to run the Nexus node. So today I'm going to teach you how you can just run the Nexus node on your VPS. So like I th said earlier, you the first thing you need to do is go to um, putty.org. That is if you've not been there before. So you download the putty application. This is a putty application. So you download it. And so let's just go straight into what we want to do. And there'll be some co some commands that uh, we are going to run today. And I will leave the command here. These are the commands that we are going to use to run. So let me launch my putty and uh, let me put my IP and put my VPS. So um, port 22, make sure you don't change the port to 22 and your connection type is SSH. So click open, accept. If you are just logging in for the first time, it will tell you to come in on to increase this a little bit. Okay, it's good. So it's requesting for our password. So input your password and if that is correct, you should see this fine. So we're good to go. Let me clear the screen so we can start afresh. So these are the commands we are going to use to, uh, to run our node. So let's start from, okay, this might be. Let's start from the, from the first thing, which is your sudo apt update. This is something you should always do if you're using, uh, if you're just launching the VPS for the first time, you, you update the packages, then you upgrade the VPS itself so uh okay we're done with that now let's do sudo apt grid now this might take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your system it's asking you this will download tonight for okay mb just hit y on your keyboard and hit yes then this could take a little bit of time though so i'm going to fast forward the video or i'm just going to pause it I saw we were almost on just a few seconds to go and we'll be done upgrading our VPS. Okay, I guess we're done upgrading the VPS. So after this, you just if you don't really know what you're doing, just copy these commands the way it is here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is build essentials. There are some files that we are going to need, so we need to build them. Uh, so copy this code and paste. actually post um, the recording and continue this could take a lot of time it could take three four five minutes depending on the speed of of your system okay so we don't with that so the next thing we need to do is install uh we need to install this zip uh and on zipper because we want to use this to install protoc on okay that is done that didn't take time then let's make directory for this copying in the next code okay it's made a directory now let's download the on zipper let's paste so okay we're done downloading so Okay, we just downloaded the protoc essential. So let's unzip the protoc essentials. Okay, that's done. Um, so copy the next code and the following one. These are just to set permissions for it. So now you can check the protoc version. If 
Actually, this came with the pro pro Protoc version, which was version 13. But while installing, I got to know that Nexus doesn't use version 13, so I had to update it to version 15. So that is all we just did. Then once you're done with this, almost you just copy this last code, which is your Nexus client code. Then it's going to ask you what do you want to do. Do you want to use the normal installation? Just hit enter, so it's going to install. Although, let's see, you might run into um, an error. This is this cargo error here. If you run into this cargo error, you you use this this code. You press them one after the other. So this is the first one. You paste it. This is the second one. You paste it, and the third one. So once you've pasted the three, you can now come back and paste this again for you to run. But if okay, it's asking for permission. Yes. But if you don't run into the error, okay, now we run into the error. You can see this error here, yeah, cargo not found. So what we need to do is come here, paste, copy this first here, paste it. Okay, copy the second one. Paste, then copy the third as well. Excuse me. Then let's paste that. Okay, now let's run a node again and see if that is going to clear the error. So asking for permission again. Why? Yes. That's so as you can see, it is. That means the error is cleared and it will keep installing. It will download uh, components. Then it's going to compile component. This is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to post this and we'll come back when it is almost done. So as you can see, this is going to install uh, 474 files. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So just hold on till when it's going to be done installing. Oh, so we're almost done. This last one is going to take a little bit of time. Okay. So um, while waiting for this, uh, let me show you how to get your, um, that is your ID, okay, your Nexus ID, because here you need to put your Nexus ID. You can run it in two ways. You run it without Nexus ID, which is <laughs> a waste of VPS because your points is not going to be stored, or you run it with your Nexus ID. So um, this is how you get your Nexus ID. Okay, let me go back home. You you come to your nodes okay click on your nodes so uh you will click on add node and you click on add cli node so you would see this might come with default just exercise a lot of patience okay probably a uh, nexus um like the server is really 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 hanging like it's really stuffed up so exercise a little bit of patience for this to change to your don't use default one <laughs> this is not your id okay so exercise patience for this to change to your id i have my id here already this is this is my id here this is my id here so it's going to request for my id so once this is done just copy your id okay this is what you see here now if you hit one it will start counting your node without adding it to your profile so what we need to do is hit two on your keyboard and press enter then it will tell you to paste your id so copy the id you have here and right click here to paste your id then hit enter so you're done it will start reading it will start proofing and it will be adding points to you so if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section or you send me a direct message i'll really really be willing to answer so See you later.